Hello, welcome to the Bullet Station Mob Boost tutorial for all teams. In this case, it's only possible for Team Sonic and Team Dark. So, this Bob Boost saves 3 minutes for Team Dark, around 2.5 for Team Sonic. So, the biggest time saver in the game, so you really want to be good at it. Today, I'll try my best to explain it, make it as easy as possible. So, let's get started. Now, you'll see I'm here. Because we need to manipulate these those act bonds, act bonds over there, and you can't do it by going in the middle because those guys will just move. It's not good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around, activate free cam, make it a bit easier. And there you go. You see that guy is standing still like we want him to. Now you'll just wanna jump over the act pond so that this way the act pond with the pistol gets a bit farther back so that when we pop Sonic Oops When we pop Sonic like this we will fall otherwise the trick will not work. So right now you'll see the act pond is to the right you can draw like a line uh, using these arrows. I'll, I'll reference this line as like the middle. So, he's to the right of this middle line. Uh, I'd rather him be on the right because we're gonna try uh, to go between these capsules and to the wall where we're gonna do the pop boost. We're gonna do a speed boost and try to take this line. And so if this guy's on the left, it's gonna be on the way. So try to get this guy on the right. It's not necessary, it'll just make it easier. And the same concept applies. We want to bob uh Sonic a bit to the left here. So that when we do the speed boost, I have a safe state, I'll just use that. Now if we do the speed boost to the right, I just hold forward here, I just get hit. Because I'll get warped like over here, I try to take this line and the guy's in the way. Take this line is just better, so try to pop Sonic like that. Let's go. Let's go. And you know, do the speed boost. I'll try to explain the speed boost if you haven't seen it already. The way you do it is you maybe pop Sonic and just double tap A like that. Uh, a way which is pretty important uh, to get more speed is double tapping A as close to the ground as possible, like that. It's all, it's gonna be really important in Team Dark especially, but it does help out here also. So double tap as close to the ground as possible and hold A. You know, if you don't hold A it doesn't work. I'll show you. See, you just get teleported to Sonic, nothing happens. You need to hold A. Uh so yeah, that's about it. We're gonna Sonic like that. Now I move the camera here like that. I use the C stick, you can use L and R if you're more comfortable. That way I can just like hold forward. So I don't usually hold forward, I hold like a bit up left or up right like that. But I don't like having to hold like these angles. You know, I'd rather just be as close to the forward as possible. So I, I just move the camera. Now I'll probably have to hold a bit like this, but you can also just pause the game when doing this trick so that you can just take your time, move the camera, use your preferred control stick angle, and all that. So yeah, just do it like that. I'm bad. <laughs> so yeah, just go between these. Oh, I'm really bad. Just go between these two capsules, is what I'm trying to say. And when you uh when you get off the plat off the platform you just hold up right. So you know, you go behind the wall and just activate it. This is gonna fail, but yeah. There we go. So you'll see how landed uh pretty close to the uh where the door is 
and this is optimal. If you go for the door clip, you can land on the rail, but unfortunately you can't land on that area. Oh, show the mouse. You can't land here because you see that you don't have enough flight meter, so you'll have to land here. Uh, one trick I'll show you if you don't know it already. Uh, you just go on this rail, switch the tails, and when you get to this part of the rail, like on this rail, this part of the rail, you just hold left and press A, and you can just go like that. Let's move on to Team Dark. You'll see there's no enemy here. Hi, Rouge. So, we're gonna have to work with these rhinos over here. Now you'll notice I have level 0 Rouge. That's because uh, we'll need We'll want to have level 0 Rouge. I'll explain it right now. Uh, right now you want to damage Omega and stun the Rhino at the same time. So, you want level 0 Rouge. So if you're on the auto scroller, just make sure to avoid the balloon that has the Rouge level up. Because otherwise when you thunder shoot the Rhino, Omega won't get stunned. So, that would be bad. As to where you want to stun the Rhino, I use these... Uh, I use these lines. See these lines? It's the line, the last line before the curve. See this curve on the rail? Or this curve? So this line is where I pop him usually. As to where you want to pop Shadow, you want to pop Shadow like close to the edge. And it'll be more clear when I, I rotate the camera. I'm gonna stun him again. Ah, but let me just do it from the start, I guess. So, just like that. Now, what you'll see, I okay. I need to go from here to here. Was the that wall is where we're gonna do the pop boost? Or, you know where we're gonna activate the pop boost. And so, if I pop shadow here, I'll need to either turn, which is slow. If you guys didn't know, turning like that makes you lose speed. So you lose a bit of distance, and the so it's, it's not—it's just not good. Uh, and if you bump shadow here, you can just take a straight line. Av also, avoid getting hit by the rhino. It's just a lot better. I'm gonna walk you through how to bump shadow. The way I do it is I do a double tap, and then just hold A for a bit. And you know, go towards the direction of the Rhino. So let's see it. Just like that. Let's see, Shadow is here. We can just take a straight line, like I mentioned. And one thing I did is I held neutral stick before touching the, uh, the Rhino, because otherwise. Yep, Rush gets hit. So you want to hold neutral stick. So after you buff shadow, you want to do the speed boost, which is again by, oops, by double tapping A. After shadow is buffed, let me show you like that. You'll see I double tap right as he got buffed, and I did it like I did a super fast double tap. You want to do it quickly because the closer you are to the ground, the more speed you get. So that's something you have to keep in mind. And also, when I do the speed pad, I move the camera. In this case, I'll move it to the right so that I can just hold as much up as possible. I don't have to like hold weird angles. So I have a safe state with everything set up. So I can just take a straight line. I think this I actually have to make a correction here, it's like a very slight one in the safe state. So yeah, if you do everything right, activate early, this will happen. You're like, what? What is this? And this is actually intentional, because this allows us to, you know, land on the... Not, not, not do that. <laughs> land on the rail or something. I don't know why I'm not holding forward. And still make it. This is gonna be too short, but... 
And you can land on the rail and still make it. You can, you know, take some turns and still make it. So that way, if you do everything right, all you need to do is just delay it a bit and you'll make it. But, I mean, you need to be good at it. I'm bad. I think that was just enough. There we go. So if, you know, you, you really gotta, like, practice calculating the right amount of distance with the setup, but you got some wiggle room to work with. I think it's, it just makes it more consistent to me. Uh, maybe what you can do is Revo also does this, he just always lands on the rail and activates Ace up. You can do that. Uh, if you find more comfortable with it. Now I'll explain the landing spots. There's this landing spot. There's an invisible platform here for some reason. And something cool you can do with it, which I just found out today, so... New strat? <laughs> if you made it this far, this is a new strat just for you. Uh, you'll need to do a double rocket excel and then switch to rouge and jump. At the peak of your height, you just fly and you skip the door. <laughs> I don't know how we didn't find this out before. Yeah, you can do that. Also, you'll see the flight meter is completely full, which means we, which means we can make uh, we can make this gap. What I do. I just thunder shoot three times and then fly like that. You'd, you'd need to get this flight boost. Otherwise, I don't think there's any way you can make this. From my testing, I haven't been able to make it without it. So, yeah, you need to do that. You can thunder shoot four times, but yeah, I got it there. Sometimes the your teammates will just miss Rouge. Let's see. They they seem to be behaving. Wow. Right when I say they, yep, Omega misbehaved. So like there, I would have missed the thunder shoot, which would have thrown off my timing, and I would have failed it. So I just rather do three thunder shoots than just do the flight boost thing. You want to take as straight of an angle as possible. I don't think that was the straightest angle, but yeah. It is kind of tight to make it here, but if you're good at this, you will be able to save, like, some bot boost attempts. And yeah, that's, that's the tutorial. I don't think I have anything else to mention.